Now that we have structured the way we have the player, we have the ball, a certain distance here, we can easily throw the ball into a certain direction, the direction we are looking at. So what we need to do is, we go to the player script, we have ball distance, we're going to type public float ball throwing force. And let's set this, this as 5f for now. Okay. So the question is, we need to do a few things. We need to be able to tell when the player clicks the mouse and when this happens we need to apply a certain force to the ball. So it's going to be thrown into any direction we want. Okay. So how do we do this? We need to add a few things to help us by doing this. First of all, we're going to type here private bull and then holding ball we're going to type the equal sign and say this is true. So this is a variable that, that won't be exposed to the Unity Editor or other classes, that's why it's private. It's a Boolean value, so it's either true or false. Its name is holding ball and we start by saying that it, it is true, okay, because we start by holding the basketball. And here in the update method we have the logic for holding the ball, but this should only happen if holding the ball is true. So we need to, to make that verification. So here in the update method we type if holding ball, like this, we open curly braces and we close them. Okay, so it's going to look like this. The ball only is going to be to have its position updated like this if this is true. Okay. And now we have to check here inside this, this if block if we have clicked the mouse. And how do we check that? It's pretty simple in Unity. You can just type input.getMouseButtonDown. And between parentheses to pass an argument to this method, you just type 0. That's the left mouse button. You can use 1 or 2 if you want, depending on how you prefer this to work. But I'm going to use zero to keep things uh, very simple here, very straight ahead. Okay, and if this happens, then we need to do a few things. If we click the mouse, then holding ball is going to be false because we're going to release it. Also, the gravity needs to be reapplied to the ball. So I'm going to type ball dot get component of type rigid body, then dot use gravity equals to true. Okay, so gravity is going to be uh, reapplied. So let's try that. Okay, I'm going to save this, I'm going to go to Unity, wait for the code to be processed, and we're going to press the play button. Okay, so we are holding the ball, and if we click, the ball has its gravity restored, and it's going to fall here. Okay, but that's not very exciting, it just falls, uh, it's not being thrown with the force that we determined, so this is something we have to adjust. To do this, we have to go here, we're going to access this rigid body again. So I'm going to type ball dot get component of type rigid body. We open and close parentheses, we type another dot, and we're going to use add force. Okay, this is going to apply a certain force to the rigid body, so it's going to make the ball to be propelled into whatever direction we determine. And the direction is actually pretty simple because we have player camera dot transform dot forward. I'm going to come here and type player camera dot transform dot forward and I'm going to multiply that by the throwing force, the ball throwing force. It's just like we did with the ball distance here. Okay? We have a vector that is going to, to reference a direction. We multiply it by anything we want and it's going to be stronger. Okay? So we're going to save this. Let's go to Unity, wait for the code to be done. And after it is, we're going to press the play button, like this. I'm going to click, and the ball, uh, it quickly fell, okay? So the reason that happened is because the throwing force might be too small. So we can change that to 200 instead of 5. So let's press play. I'm going to click, and it was a bit better now. So if you want to have a, a stronger value, let's change that to 400 this time. We press the play button. Here we are holding the basketball. I'm going to throw it like this and you see it was much stronger than before. But you have to tune that. It's a game design activity. You have to keep trying different values, pressing play and finding uh, what you want to achieve with this game. Okay, let's try one more time. I'm going to click and it was a bit too strong now. Uh, it happens. Okay, let's just try again. 
so I'm here let's try this angle click and the ball and there we go we have a score okay so that's perfect it's exactly what we want to do but notice that the ball isn't bouncing around that's not very good okay it doesn't bounce it doesn't stop and, and this is very important for making this logic to work properly so let's make this adjustment in the next video